Hey everyone, it's Boot, and I'm back with another stuff. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, and it's the afternoon time, roughly 3.50 p.m. Central Time, and I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, we made it through four days of the work week already, guys. We got Friday coming up, and then we've got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Man, I'm so excited for the weekend, guys. You guys have no idea. I've got so much to talk to you guys about over the next, like, day, day and a half, two days. I'm so excited to talk to you guys, seriously. Holy mackerel, guys. Wow. We got some bunch of stuff to cover today. I mean, we got two drop articles to talk about, cover some normal stuff. There's some great posts on Reddit that I absolutely wanted to talk about. A couple other random topics. Just all sorts of stuff to talk about today, guys. Seriously, all sorts of stuff, okay? Whew. I'm so excited. All right. Man, I could start anywhere I want. Let's just get some VV information out of the way, okay? Where is the market at right now? The market's pretty much going flat, maybe downward a little bit. Um, let's talk about the uh, Todd versus Aston battle. They're pretty much neck and neck, guys. Technically, right now, you can get an Aston for a couple hundred cheaper than a Todd, but they're basically neck and neck, guys. I promise you guys that. These guys are basically still neck and neck. Nobody clearly has a clear leg up. They're basically neck and neck. All right. Everything else on the app, in my opinion, from what I've seen, is basically going sideways or going down just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. That's what I've been seeing. That's what it looks like to me. Um, yeah, no, seriously. Uh, Wow, I got so much to talk to you guys about today. Seriously, ugh, man. Let's go ahead and hop into the um. Let's go ahead and hop into um. This browser so that we can talk about some of this stuff here, so we can get to some of the topics here. So I'll have the spreadsheet link down below in case you guys are interested. Let's hop into Reddit and let's talk about some of these Reddit posts, okay, guys? Because some people have some pretty good questions on here. We got Dutch Master here in Baras. They asked the exact same question. That's really weird. But is VV market correlated to other markets? Um, if you're talking about the stock market, no. If you're talking about the crypto market, no. It like. It would be mostly correlated, I would say most correlated with other NFT markets, you know, maybe OpenSea and stuff like that, but really not really. Um, VV is its own thing in a lot of ways, but if I had to say it was most closely related to anything, I would say that. Um, um, we got Mustard Tiger Collins here. We've got Dutch Master, and this is going to be, um, wait, no, there's somebody else that had a question. Um, but it was around the four-hour mark. Let's just take a peek. Stop. Oh, maybe it's this guy. No jury. Stop. Yeah, it's no jury here. Stop asking people for predict to predict the future. Um, nobody knows how much your collectible will be worth in this time frame. Yeah. So I don't. I, I kind of wanted to talk about this post from No Jury here. You know, it's it's a really it's a tough thing for me, man. It really is a tough thing for me because at the end of the day, we do get a lot of people asking how much is this going to be worth, how much is that going to be worth. But at the same time, we need the interaction, we need the people talking, we need the people wondering, like about Vivi. The more people are just generally talking about Vivi, the more often the better in my mind. So it really is a double-edged sword for me. You know, I do see a lot of people asking this, and I'm kind of like, oh great, here we go again. You know, how much is the how much is this going to be worth? How much is that going to be worth? But at the end of the day i mean we need people talking about it you know we need we need people conversing about vv and stuff like that so i don't know i'd say let people ask these questions and let's just keep helping people out and i think that would just be best for everybody um we got a couple other homies to shout out here we got uy uh xm we got day drinking with bob we've got b uh, b761 right shout out to all of our homies on reddit shout out to all of our homies on twitter Shout out to all of our homies everywhere. You guys already know it, right? We've got homies price, and that's going for point zero zero um four zero eight two. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your daddy and nothing in this video is financial advice now. We're going to see Omi maybe get to this point zero zero three number again, guys. Um, You know, Omi getting down there, pretty good price to acquire some. Um, 
I'm going to talk about crypto in a minute. We got to talk. I got to come back. I got more topics to talk about. Seriously, guys, let's talk about these next coming, these upcoming drops. So tomorrow we got a comic coming up. This Fantastic Four number 265, right? This is going to be $7, eight, the $7 comic. But I want to let you guys know there's only 10,000 editions here, 6,000 commons and 250 secret rares. So we're looking at a very rare comic here, guys. So it's going to be very hard to get your hands on this thing. I'm going to try for it. Um, and, uh, We'll see how it goes, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. I will try for it. Um, but that's coming up. It's pretty cool. She-Hulk um, looking very cool if you guys want my opinion. Um, I think the common even. The common has a very classic comic look in my opinion. So I really like the common too for some reason. So very cool comic. Um, I'm going to be going for it. You guys already know it. All right, let's talk about the contentious drop, and let's get into a contentious topic. Okay, guys, we've got the Matt Gondick weapon rack drop coming up on saturday okay we got a list price of 60 dollars now okay let's get a couple things let's just get a lot off our chest here guys seriously a lot of people don't love this drop and i'm right there with you i don't love this drop this is not my cup of tea i probably am not going for this drop um we can talk about price predictions we can talk about a lot but like let's just talk about the 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 um the elephant in the room like the real like kind of the real, like, I don't know, the real elephant in the room. Let's just talk about it, guys. This this is Matt Gondick, you know, and he's got some great art. And I really wish we would have just seen some great Matt Gondick art on the app. That would have been fantastic. But instead, we're left with the weapons rack. And this is kind of a piece that he's saying came out during the protests and rioting in his hometown. And he said it was, like, about police brutality and all that. And... There's a lot of people that are rubbed the wrong way about it, and rightfully so, man. I mean, honestly, we've gone a, a whole long time without any kind of political messaging, and now here we go, bang, right? So, of course, right? I'm right there with you guys. I'm right there with you guys. It kind of feels like, come on, right? Now, as far as the, the actual issue itself, it is kind of strange, you know? It, there's this kind of antagonistic approach that people think seem to think that we— that some people have about the cops it's not that man it's not that really guys let's just go to face cam really quick so i can get this off my chest look there's obviously some problems with the police everybody knows that okay everybody knows that there are problems with the police okay the problem is is that people think like oh that means i need to be in against the police no 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 the problems with the police man the the problem is we need to like rebuild these relationships with the police everybody knows that we need the police everybody knows that right you need the police there but it's about like rebuilding from the ground up the relationship we have with these folks right changing the dynamic and that's what it's really about in my mind i'm just a random guy though but like everybody kind of gets this impression like oh we should pick up arms when the police are do police brutality like we should pick up a bat covered in chains like no it like guys we need to like in my mind it's not about that it's not about us versus anybody it's not about anybody versus anybody it's about we need to rebuild this relationship with these people because obviously there is something going on here right and that's what I, that's my take on it, guys. And that's what I want to say about it. I could be totally off. And if I am, go ahead and flame me in the comments, whatever. I don't care. But that's just what I, that's just the way I look at it, guys. And so there is a little bit of uh, contention going on with this piece. A lot of people saying they're going to skip it. I'm just going to skip it. Um, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more in depth here. Let's talk about the actual, um, the actual pricing here. So we're looking at a blind box of $60 now. Like, okay, let's talk about the positives and the negatives here. Um, first of all, we've got a piece that has gold in it, gold and black. Gold always fetches a premium, of course. And, of course, I like the pink and blue. It's a great color pattern. Now, what does that mean? Not very much to me because, honestly, I wouldn't even pay 60 to have this piece, but I would love to have a piece in this color pattern. That's my take on it. Now, this piece is not the one. I personally think that the common and the uncommon will go for a round drop price, and we very well may even see the rare go for a round drop price. I do expect to see the ultra rare go for a premium, maybe double drop price, maybe up near the 120, 100, 120 mark. Um, and that's what I think we'll see on the prices on these bad boys. Um, I would love to know what your guys' take about anything is. Seriously, I mean, I spent a lot of time talking about this drop. What are your guys' takes? Um, are you guys even going to be taking part in this thing? Let me know down in the comments down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys, of course. Ooh, baby, 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 
Baby, baby, seriously. I'm feeling fantastic, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get off, and I'm going to make a pizza for myself, and I'm going to go and relax on the couch and chill, okay? But there's a couple other things I want to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about crypto, guys. Um, just a quick little crypto update for Bud Thompson. Um, I don't ever really talk about crypto, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little insight into what I'm doing. Um, as of right now, I'm trying to build a position into this crypto that's really referred to as the Crypto.com coin. It's got the symbol CRO. Um, crypto.com is a very popular website. Um, there's like this new Crypto.com arena, right? So like I wanted to build a position at Crypto.com mainly because I think it's going to be very popular. Um, I see it having a huge future. They have this all this budget for all these celebrities and all that. So I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to say I think they'll be pretty big. So I want to get a position. And on top of that, if you end up getting around certain um, amounts and what I have in my mind is a 4,000 amount you can get a very cool card okay you get a very cool like credit card um, I really want to get one interesting tidbit about Bud Thompson I've never owned a credit card in my entire life so I kind of want to try to get a credit card now that I'm an adult now well I mean I'm 29 so I'm like a super adult but I think it's it would be pretty cool to be able to get that one I have to be able to get 4,000 CRO tokens and then or 4,000 worth of CRO tokens I suppose and then I can get a cool credit card so I, I didn't buy very much you know I'm not out here like going out and buying a ton I'm a dollar cost averager yesterday between yesterday and today I bought about hundred and twenty five dollars worth and I will be adding to that position slowly over time um, and that's just how it's going to go. Uh, but I want to give you guys a quick update on that, whether or not you guys are interested. I don't know. But, okay, we're already at 11 minutes and 30 seconds, guys. Holy smokes, this video is getting long. But I got a couple other quick things here. We got some Pokemon I wanted to share with you guys. A couple Spanger Pokemons that I ordered. Okay, first and foremost, I got this Greninja Gold Star. This is um, from the uh, Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer Boxes. This is still in the plastic. Now, this card is worth about 5 to seven dollars i would say i was able to sneak this buy this bad boy on ebay for two dollars so it was a great buy in my opinion not a piece that i'm planning on like flipping very soon but i have a ton of these already a bunch of them in these wrappers and this was just another one to add because i got it for such a great price okay next i got this beautiful foil Jolteon. This is one that I've been, of course, wanting to add. This is such a cool card. I have a non-foil version of this card, and I was able to get a foil version here. Of course, it's not in the best shape. It's got some damage on it up here in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. There's like a cut right here on the corner here. Um, but it's still a fantastic card. It's not in terrible condition. It's not in great condition, but I needed to add it to my collection, guys. And last but not least, the last card is going to be a graded card. We've got a CGC 6.5 Dark Muck First Edition. Um, if this wasn't First Edition, I would not have bought it, but First Edition means it's, of course, quite rare, so I went ahead and bought it. Uh, first Edition, Dark Muck, 6.5, not a great grade. Um, and it's not even that rare of a card, but with being a First Edition, of course, I'm going to grab it. I, I was looking for rarer cards when I buy stuff, so that's what I ended up with. Um, and I bought some more Pokemon today, and I'm feeling great, guys. I'm feeling fantastic. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, everybody. Congrats to every single person on making it this far through the week. Okay, everybody, have a fantastic night. I'll catch you guys in the next one.